In this video, I'll be showing you how to give your Adeptus Doritos some slightly more practical looking armour. I sculpted this new piece in Blender, and you can get the file for free on my Colts 3D account or on my website. If you don't have a printer of your own, I also sell pre-printed versions on my website. All of these links can be found down in the description. This conversion is much easier to do on models with a weapon in each hand, but for this example I'll be using a normal sister with a bolter. This particular one is from the Combat Patrol, so it is monopose, but this conversion will work just as well on the normal sisters. First, assemble the model to about this point. Don't attach the arms and weapons just yet, but we will need them later. You'll also need the actual breastplate piece. The next step is to use a pair of clippers to cut away the majority of the original breastplate. You can then carefully use a knife to trim away any excess and smooth it out a bit more. It doesn't really matter if this bit looks a bit messy, since this will be under the breastplate. Be careful not to damage the shoulder armour or the neck detail. Once you're happy with how smooth you've got the chest, it's time to test fit the breastplate. This monopose model has the left arm as part of the torso, but on the normal sisters I would still recommend gluing on the support arm at this point. What we're aiming for is for this little U shape on the front of the breastplate to line up with the neck detail on the original armour, and so we're going to need to trim a little bit off the side of the breastplate. I recommend doing this in small increments, don't cut off too much at once. Once we're happy that it's fitting nicely on this side, I'm going to mix up a small amount of green stuff. You can also just super glue it to the torso, but I tend to use green stuff because it helps me fill in some gaps later. With green stuff you can use either water or Vaseline on your sculpting tools to stop it from sticking to them. If you use Vaseline, remember to wipe it off once the green stuff is cured, otherwise the paint won't stick to it. Once you're happy with how the breastplate is sitting, you can clean up any excess green stuff and fill in the gaps. The next step is to test fit the arms. In some cases they may just go on as is without much modification, but in this particular one we're going to need to modify the bolter a bit. At the moment it's sitting too far out and it doesn't allow the arms to connect. I'll start fitting the arms by scraping away a bit of the material on the side of the breastplate. I'd recommend wearing a dust mask while doing this. It's important to make frequent comparisons between the arms and the body. Once the right arm slots in nicely, it's time to move on to modifying the bolter. On this particular model, the top half of the bolter is interfering with the breastplate. I'm going to start scraping away some of the plastic on the back of the bolter with my knife. Be careful to only do this a little bit at a time and keep comparing back to the model until it fits. I did also find I had to take a bit of material off the inside of the right arm. Once you feel you've got a good fit, it's time to glue the arms in place. I had a small gap behind the back of the right arm, so I used a little bit of green stuff to fill it. Once everything's stuck in place, this is what you should have. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks very much for watching.